Until now, we have assisted our students in building the various concepts of the lesson through some interesting buying and selling activities. Therefore, as a part of the zero investment innovative idea of children's market, let's continue engaging our students in some hands-on activities today and follow it up with an inquiry-based approach. Through this, we will be explaining the concepts of applying the basic operations in real life. But before we begin, let's ensure we keep some materials ready with us. For these activities, we require some fake currency notes and coins made of paper. We will need 10 100 rupees notes, 10 10 rupees notes and 10 5 rupees coins. We may choose to reuse the currency notes in the denominations of 100 rupees and 10 rupees from our previous activities. To introduce our students to the idea of multiple costs, let's begin by informing them that we are now going to set up a market in the classroom using currency. Initiate the activity by displaying the fake currency notes and coins of different denominations on the table. Then. Divide the class into three groups. We will then distribute eight of the hundred rupees notes to the first group. Similarly, give five of the ten rupees notes to the second group and ten of the five rupees coins to the third group. Then inform each group to guess the total amount roughly first and then calculate the actual amount. As the students guess and estimate the amount, it will aid in developing their problem-solving skills. Give the groups some time to estimate and calculate. In our next video, we will be carrying this activity forward with an inquiry-based approach to lead the students to understand the various ways of doing multiplication in real life. Stay tuned!